can try to speak Babel in a language <laughs> that nobody nobody else understands, and and, there, and there's no edification in speaking in tongues. There's no you don't understand what them people saying. Precept. They'll say 15 or 20 words and then say, Dad. Dad, they be like, how can they be like, that's what they be interpreting. And then, then they be like, Dad, Dad. I'm like, all that, all that five sentences are saying, man, Dad. They don't know what they saying, man. Niggas crazy. You know what? Oh, no. people, people go out of the confines of reality to 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 get looked at and, and, and esteemed by other people Come that on. are wicked, man. Take this bug down, bro. <laughs> Look, sister, 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 speaking in time. Look, see a great prophet is the God. Fuck that bitch. That bitch <laughs> gonna fuck die, man. <laughs> you know? Oh, you, you dumbass black women in them churches, your ass gonna get put to death, man. All right? Precept the back of the Some of y'all fan, we want some of them. We might even want because y'all the biggest sluts. All right? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. You, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't just, yeah. you ain't just, uh, 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 committed. Physical adultery, you, you, dumb, your dumb ass is what? Yeah, you know, Committed what? Spiritual, spiritual, yes, yeah, fornication, man. Spiritual adultery. So they, they doing both in them, man. Two time hoe. Two, two, two time hoe, man. <laughs> spiritual adultery and, and, and physical adultery. Literally, man. Literally, man. <laughs> and letting the pastor pop you, you got a husband at home. Telling, letting the pastor tell you y'all unequally yoked. You should divorce him. Damn. You know, he ain't got no job, sister. I just seen the movie you know on that. He ain't in church every Sunday. Yeah, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You should divorce him. Y'all unequally yoked. You know what I'm saying? That's wicked as fuck, yeah, man. A lot of marriages get broken hey, because hey. of them damn churches, you know? And, and little do you know, the scriptures tell you, you know what I'm saying? Meddle not in another man's affairs, well, man. I wish a motherfucker, man, that motherfucker be dead, man. God, yeah. Fucking telling your, your woman, man, I'm gonna put that nigga to death, man. That's right. All right, I'm, 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 I ain't gonna be a regular deaf either. I'm gonna bash his head in with a goddamn um, with a monkey wrench, man. A big, the biggest monkey wrench I can get. I'm gonna bash his fucking head in with it. Uh. And, and, and right, and then and society, I try to tell you that you insecure, you, you insecure for feeling like that. No, I'm gonna kill that nigga. And, and you know what? <laughs> that's righteous to feel like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's wickedness, man. Uh. Hey, hey, hey! The scriptures tell you, man. Hey, your woman is your possession, man. Just like your fucking car is, man. Like your house is, man. Your children, man. Don't, don't, that belong to you. Yeah, and why is she your possession? Because she's something that you protect. And all of your possessions you protect from who? Thieves. Yep. Yep. From robbers, man. Yep. That's right. From people that's coming to take away from you, man. Right. So your woman too, man. Because right. when a woman is in trouble, she looks to a man for protection, man. That's right. You know? And that man that killed you, if he ever saw you trying to steal his woman, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know? I was, just, I, I was just from the quote of the scripture saying, <laughs> hey, he saw the so-called white man got something that they huh. call a crime of passion, yeah. which they got from the scriptures, because the Bible tells you that jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. Right, and man. the scripture says an adulterer shall be put to death, so he was right. So the Lord don't condemn society makes it makes it as though, oh, you, are you insecure? You are. Uh, you know what I mean? It's Look, demonic ass saying, yeah. man. They always got some kind of demonic nigga saying, man. Man, some homosexual. That's some, some homo ass way to think, man. Yep. Right. He ain't yeah. seeing, not the sinner. Right, cuz. Yeah. Right. They always got some old abominable, wicked ass saying, some dumb nigga saying, man. And niggas be running with it. <laughs> it ain't scriptural or nothing. And that's what gets oh. these goddamn women, you know what I'm saying, Salaki, these women, excuse my language, you know what I'm saying, to get, you know, give liberty. Get, you give them, you, and, and then you to her man, and you actually helping, you know what I'm saying, give her liberty to fucking be wicked, man, to go lay with other men, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying, because of that, what they tell you, man, you being insecure, man. But all the whole time, man, she got a whole rod, another, another nigga's rod in her mouth, man. Yeah. Right on but point. you know, you know what taught, taught women that mindset? The idea of dating. Dating taught women that mindset. Yeah. You not, we not, we not, we not supposed to date. The, the, really the, the, the father is supposed to find his daughter a man to deal with, you know? Because why is that? Because the father, first of all, he's, 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 he's aged. He has wisdom. He he knows how to look at other men and say this nigga ain't shit. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that. Hey, you know you you see. Hey, hey, we see people every day. Like this nigga ain't no ain't up to no good. You know, and just off the off the the vibration that they they carry, man. It's proven. It's called yeah, discernment, man. 
discernment. He's able to discern, and, 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 he's a, and you know what? What do fathers do? That are actually in their daughter's life. They try the men. They come and try to be with their daughter. They sit them and talk to them. Hey, what you, what you do for them? What kind of work you do? Yeah, that's right. How long you been working there? Okay. Okay. What's your father name? You, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you you live with your you got a father in the house? You live with your father? Okay. Okay. Nigga nigga t nigga nigga pull up in the bins and he working at Walmart. Father know, hey, something ain't right, this nigga. <laughs> you know? Right, <laughs> he right, right. Oh. <laughs> you know, your daddy ain't rich. You know, oh, you ain't had your daddy. You know. you know, and a lot a lot of women to be like, oh look at him, he got a nice guy, he cute. Yeah. You know, like when you see when you see like a lot of these mothers. Uh, uh, picking men for their they, they daughters. They be like, he cute. Look at him, he's, just, he's so nice. He brought me some flowers. You know? But that father's gonna be like that, that, that wall that you gotta climb. Like, you know what I'm saying? To get to his daughter, Paul, man. And that's brother. how it's supposed to be, Paul, man. Paul, get your brother off the wall. We're not supposed to be encouraging our, our children to date this man and that man. That's how they become whores, man. Cause they, get, they go off with this man on a date. And then the man get the kiss on her neck, and she get enticed and get hot. And next thing you know, her, you know her virginity gone. If it ain't already gone, you know. Next thing you know, her virginity gone. She she even got pregnant. This nigga like fuck that. I ain't ready to take care of no kids. Boom, her life is messed up. Get your brother out the wall, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> His life messed up. Then she put that nigga on child support. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. And you know what? Some niggas would be like, I'd go to jail. Hey, it's, it's guys out on child support, they still don't work, man. All right, cunt. This nigga's on a run. If they get pulled over today, the they going to jail. Hey, what you want to call? Appreciate it. Uh, this is uh, Titus chapter 2, verse 3. It says, The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. All right, so the aged woman, like somebody like this sister right here, she's an aged woman. All right, well, it's supposed to say what? Become holy, holiness, separate, man. Separate from what? The world, man. Go ahead. It says, not false accusers. Not, not be, don't be a false accuser. Don't be a liar. You lying on people. Three. Not giving too much wine. Not giving too much, and that's double fold. The wine is talking about actually drinking, but also what? Doctrine. Yeah. Not give, because what you, you, you learn from what your husband teach you, man. Yep. The scripture says what? But any woman have a question, uh, learn from her husband at home. At home. Yeah. Yeah. And if oh, she guess don't, what? If she don't have a husband, she's supposed to learn from the prophets uh, in the city. You took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, so I no, you dang. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. That's, That's how you learn. Yep. It says teachers of good things. Yeah, teachers of, of good things, man. Holy things. Read. Keep, your, keep your legs closed. Why you got your ass out? You look like a whore. Yep. Go put some clothes on. Yep. Yep. That's a teacher of good things, man. Yep. You know? Hey, have your own substance, man. Huh. Don't put yourself in a position where you got a whore for money, man. You know, have your own substance. Be able to come into the relationship with something. You'll be respected more. Like, stuff like that, man. Because mm -hmm. what, the, even, though, even though in the ancient world, women were not created to work, man. But in this society, they have to because we don't make enough money to provide for a whole family. You saw so women like that on yeah. purpose. Man. Yeah, so the woman is not at home to raise the ch children, man, because she got to work. And then what, what happens? Women are not stronger, stronger than men, you know, so they go out and they go to work and they have a bad day, and that bad day spills over into their household. And now she's at home mad because of a day she had at work. You know what I'm saying? Men can go to work and come home and just chill, kick up his feet up, have a beer, be chilling like a motherfucker, man. And he may have had a bad day. But the sisters, they go to work, man, have to slave for this, for this, for somebody else's job. You know what I'm saying? Got to deal with, with spirits and entities coming in, in there, being the weaker vessel. The woman is the weaker vessel, so she's more susceptible to evil spirits, man. That's why the serpent came to uh, Eve. To Eve, and also, who do you see uh, all up in that astrology and all of? Is it always women? Am I her stuff? Or the church? Yeah, yep. the church. Too. The church. Hey, she may have yeah. to catch public yeah. transportation. Yeah. It's demons all on the bus, and them demons just jump right into her and and, 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 and take a ride home with her. You know. <laughs> you know. It's not set up for your woman to be around all manner of people, man. That's why the scripture said, let them learn from their husbands at home, man. Because the, those, those evil spirits travel through them because they, 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 don't, 
first of all, they're, if they're not covered by a man of the yeah. Lord, they're not spiritual. Yeah, and the woman, you know, she's just as spiritual as a rock. Yeah, man, <laughs> a, a worldly woman, man. And you know what? And even even a lot of these women that are not worldly, they got they live with men of the Lord, still give them hell, man, because they don't abide by by the by the, the law of that man. Yeah, the structure. Which is the 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 scriptures, man. You know? Yeah, that's because they bound in this world, man. They bound to this world. Oh, hey, man, that's a, that's an easy that's an easy job. As a woman, your job is to please your husband and raise the children. That's it. You know what I'm saying? If you got a good man, you're supposed to treat him right, man. I give him hell and then blame him for it. Well, you be snapping all the time. That's because you be nagging the shit out of me. Well, hey, and another thing, men are not made to argue much, man. We're, 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 we're warriors, man. We handle situations with action, not with our lips, man. You know, women can argue all day because they don't have that power. You know? They can't run up on a man and kick his ass. In the, only in the movie theaters, you know? But, but hey, they'll try it all. Ah, then the man body slapped me. Why you here? Why you body slam me? Because you was just on my neck, you know? And you wasn't kissing. You was trying to scratch me, you know? But they drag you. These women, they drag you into the realm of arguing so they can be on their turf. And you supposed to ignore that shit. I ain't got time for that shit. That's why uh, I'm out. Chris Rock, Chris Rock stand up. He say uh, a woman ain't gonna let you ruin her argument with some simple, with some little thing called logic. Cause me and logic. Yeah. 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 They'll find that. They, they'll skip. They'll skip around that shit like it ain't even wrong. Right. Cause men like to make sense, basically. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We we love to make sense, but women, you know what I'm saying? They they, they some crazy ass creatures, man. There's some women that are wise. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That 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 that, that have some some form fashion of wisdom, but the, the, this most of this most of this younger generation, up until the the 30s, the mid 30s, shit, and boys. some into the 40s, man, that are just messed up, man. Hey, this this why though. Can I, can I read this verse? Uh, this verse four, Titus two and four. It says that they may teach the young woman to be sober, to yeah. love their husbands. Oh, so, so, yep. Yeah. So you're supposed to teach them how to love their husband. Yeah. Now what? How you teach them how to love, how to serve their husband? Yeah. In the ancient world, if a woman had a daughter, she'd be like, hey, well, you do this for your man. All right, make sure you have his shoes, you, you clean his clothes, make sure the house is clean. And have his, have his food warm you know, when he get home from work. Submit to him, you, you know? know? And then, and then that way the relationship works better in, because he appreciates you. Because women are designed to for, to to receive attention, you know. And, That's the truth. You know what I'm saying? So one hand washes the other. If you treat this man like, if you treat this man and motivate his ego and and, and stimulate his st stimulate his, and it, you know, it's not about a uh, ego is not a malicious thing, man. A uh, ego is a driving force. To, to to better things in life, man. Yes, sir. Con, con. You know what I'm saying? It's not a negative thing. Yeah. Oh, the male ego. That's not a that's not a negative thing. Men are supposed to have an ego. I'm a man. Because Danny. because right that that ego keeps them from stressing. I, Salaki, if I can yeah. add, Go I ahead. just want to do a little testimony real quick. You know, um, long time ago, shit, this has been a long time ago. My kids, man, look, I was on the couch, sleep. I was faking sleep, and my uh, children's mother, she walked in the door. And she was like, why the fuck? So like, she was like, why the fuck is he in there on the couch sleep? And why is his bedroom all messed up? You should have had this bedroom cleaned up, ready for him, and you supposed to have him some food cooked and clean clothes. Mm -hmm. And yep. a hot bath, man. Yep. And that's how the way the older women, you know what I'm saying, supposed to teach the younger women, man. She said, look at your man. He a handsome guy. Yep. Now, I, ain't, I don't look at myself like that, but you know, whatever. Yep. You know, but she was saying that. She like, hey, another, another woman to come and take your guy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you better get your shit together. Yeah. You because know? men, men, men desire to be. Um, I mean, men, men desire to desire yep. to be loved. Women desire to be appreciated. Yep. You can't not love that man according to his his needs, and and expect appreciation. It don't work that way. Cause there's nothing to appreciate. Yep. You know, so it, there's there's no bond, man. It's just like it's friction. All the time. I ain't got no dinner. Okay, so I'm gonna be an asshole today, then. Yep. You know, and it, it, man, and you know what? 
that all of that all of that 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 uh that whole condition of, of thinking is taught to us by Esau, man, and slavery, man. Pitting us against one another. Hey, 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 through through this television, man. That whole philosophy of I don't need no man. I don't need no man to do shit for me. Okay? But you struggling like a motherfucker in a cold bed at night. <laughs> a cold bed. Cold bed. Cold dildos yeah, in the drawer. They need a cold bath because you're always horny. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> and then you, then you, then women wonder why they all so fucking mad. Hey, you notice the independent woman is always angry? Yeah. I yeah. thought you didn't need nothing. Why you mad if you don't need nothing? Be at work. What? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> I independent. You're, you're independent on nothing, so. I, I am independent. Ugh. So why you mad? You need some rock. Uh, then, then, then they get mad at you for asking them a question they can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but but that's the reality of it. The, the appreciation comes from love. The, you're supposed to show that man love, show the kids love, and then, and then the appreciation that, that, that lifts the woman's spirit is from the love that she gives to the family, the nurturing. That's right. You know? It, it's a build up. It, I mean, it, it's a builder to, to, her, to your own family. Man. But you know what? That's not going to happen, first of all, if women don't have a woman in their life to tell them, look, that's not how you do that. You know? Nowadays, the, 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 the man could come home from work and the woman give him utter hell and they be in the kitchen laughing about it. Yeah, shit, I told that nigga shit. Girl, make your own thing. And then, and then, and then the chick on the phone ain't got a man and she be laughing like, you about not about to have a man neither. <laughs> yeah, 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 girl, girl. Hey, hey, don't even give him none tonight. Just don't even look at him. Yep. You expect to get good advice from a woman that ain't got no man. <laughs> Hey, that's and, and, and the logic, man. But you know, it's, it's, it's all of this stuff stems from the so-called white man conditioning us through through TV. You know what I'm saying? Through 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 uh, uh, the, all the negative influences. And, and you know, a lot of those those the reality TV, a lot of those are just skits. Mm -hmm. You know. Then okay, now you jump up and you pour the drink on her, and y'all start fighting, and then he gonna come, the security gonna come and take her and out, and you gonna be cussing that, like you mad, and you know what they can, they can, they you know, you know why, they, you know why yeah. it looks real, because those people are not happy anyway, <laughs> so they gonna, they gonna, they gonna portray their regular life into that skit. You know what they said about Mary J. Blige? She made the best CD when she was going through, cause the pain that she was living was manifest in the CD. And and our people are in pain. So they felt that shit like, damn, who? You know? Now she just whack. <laughs> yeah, man. So this, it's easy for them to play that role because they not happy in their regular life. Hey, hey, <laughs> you ever seen two people, two, two men play fighting and shit, and then, then, oh, then it get real and shit all of a sudden? You know, they get accidentally pop. Oh, hit him too hard, nigga. Pop, nigga, pop, pop. Next thing you know, ah, 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 they, ah, 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 they fighting. Best friends, they ain't now. <laughs> Man, anybody got a scripture? Con, uh, this is uh, going back to what he was in. Oh, he was already you done with that Titus. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got more. So on like, the Titus. I ain't mean to talk. I, it, it goes right way. along with it, though. Go ahead, brother. This Titus two and four. He says, uh. It says that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, mm -hmm. to be discreet. Hey, see, the, to love their husband, yep. to love their children. Because for that love, you get the appreciation of being that woman, that, 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 that woman. And then you get that love back on, on top of that appreciation. Because, because women desire what? Attention, A positive attention. They desire to be appreciated. Okay? Go ahead. As I said, we go to that word discreet. It mean uh it mean temperate and it means displaying self-control. Like most, the majority of our Israelite women, they always they always loud in the grocery store, making the scene, always gotta cuss somebody out. 
you know? It says, uh, to be discreet, chaste, and chaste mean don't be a whore, man. Don't be don't be giving your body up to any and every everybody. Yeah, they try to fuck love into their life. Ah, ah, ah. You love me, right? <laughs> they can be like, no, this is just we 